MTSU's aerospace program is soaring to new heights. Today they are holding a big announcement for a plan to expand their flight operations center to Shelbyville. News Channel 5's Tony Sloan live with more on this expansion this morning for us. So, Tony, when are they looking to get all this started? Well, Amy, things are moving fast. So the plan is to start moving about 10 to 20 aircrafts to temporary facilities at the Shelbyville Airport by the end of the upcoming spring semester. The university says that this is important because we all take flights sometime or another, and the program helps prepare the next group of pilots in Middle Tennessee. Governor Bill Lee, MTSU President Sidney McPhee, and other officials will meet at 10 o'clock this morning at the Shelbyville Airport to make that expansion announcement. So why is this happening? Well, MTSU is currently the largest customer at Murfreesboro Municipal Airport, responsible for about 70% of airport operations. Well, this year, the school bought 10 more airplanes to give students hands-on learning experience. So with that comes the need for more space. Murfreesboro, they pushed back expansion of their airport, so the university looked to Shelbyville, which is nearly three times larger. MTSU says it's also because of the continuing nationwide shortage of pilots and other aerospace professionals. Now, there are some challenges in this relocation, though. There could be disruptions to student progress toward graduation. One of the more pressing challenges is the distance between the Shelbyville campus and the main MTSU campus, but they are working to try and minimize those issues. It's about a 30 minute drive with traffic. Groundbreaking will be in the summer or fall of 2024. It's anticipated that the new facilities may be completed in about late 2027.